This is SportsCenter with L. Duncan and Kevin Connors. Good evening. Coming up on SportsCenter, John Gruden apologizing for insensitive comments. We're going to catch you up on what the Raiders coach said about an NFL luminary. Much more on that story, plus wall-to-wall playoff baseball. But we begin with some big news from... The NFL, your top of the hour. A developing story here on SportsCenter. Raiders head coach John Gruden under fire for sending an email with racially charged language back in 2011 about NFL Players Association president Damaris Smith. The Wall Street Journal is reporting that Gruden wrote that Smith had, quote, lips the size of Michelin tires. Gruden told the journal he doesn't recall writing the email, but did apologize, saying, quote, I'm really sorry. The NFL issued a statement. Gruden was the lead analyst for ESPN's Monday Night Football, a position he held until taking over the Raiders in 2018. As we now are joined by Paul Gutierrez, and I know that you actually had an opportunity to speak with John Gruden recently. What did he have to say? There it is. Raiders reporter Paul Gutierrez with the latest on John Gruden speaking with him after he apologized. Your writer, Tim Kewen, who's joining us now. It's a vibe check, and we've talked about this quite a bit. We've seen bitter rivals face on the playoffs before, but never this bitter rivalry. So give me a vibe check at what it looks like in those. Like a playoff game, so different than an actual playoff game. We'll see that tonight. Tim Kewen joining us there from Oracle Park ahead of a big one there. Uh, appreciate you for joining us here on Sports Center. To MLB reporter Marley Rivera, who's joining us now live from the Tropicana Field with more one of her favorite places, by the way, to be. I'm just saying, Marley. After they were shut out last night, we heard we heard Alex Core of the Red Sox sort of brush it off and say, "We're all good." What is their mind frame today, despite what they put out there yesterday? Thing to note, they had nine hits. It's they were shut out, but they were putting the the bat to ball. Uh, it actually was one of their worst losses for being shut out, despite having nine hits. Marley Rivera with the latest. I had a game two. He's got a bid one between the Red Sox and the Rays. Thanks, Marley. Friday means not top, and also it's time to hand out who took the biggest L this week. And well, it's Ole Miss coach Lane Kiffin. But it is complicated. So leading up to his team facing his former boss at Alabama, Kiffin talked about how he wrote everything down during his time there so he could, you know, get into Nick Saban's mind. Things that he would use to his advantage in the game plan. Then he doubled down with these pregame antics. I never stopped not being funny. (laughs) Oh, God, I just I feel like I've seen more intense looks from Golden Doodles. All right. So, of course, his team ended up getting beat by three touchdowns. So then we traded in popcorn for tea, awaiting Kiffin's post-game press conference. Like, I mean, it's the eye contact for me. (laughs) So here's the plot twist. Yes, Lane Kiffin literally took an L. But you know what? This guy gets it. Say thanks for attention. And then if it doesn't work out, roast yourself before people can do it for you. It's the bee rabbit method of de-escalating a situation. And honestly, I'm entertained by people who ratchet up the drama with big talk, even if it means sometimes they got to sit in that stink. Well, sports, that's a touchback. Oh, my God. I was on set with Sam Ocho. We're watching that live. I'm like, dude, watch this. Yeah. Incredible. It happens time and time again. Watch the tape. Temple, Cincinnati, coming at you, college football on ESPN right now. Watch that, too.